Hey guys, welcome to this video of my impressions of the Apple Watch. This is the 42mm aluminium version with the blue sports band. It's £340 or $400 US dollars. You can get the 38mm or you can also get the stainless steel uh, which gets you a sapphire display. In the box you get a wall adapter in the UK we have these new folding prongs you get a second band this is the medium large which adds three to uh, three centimeters in length and then you have the wireless charger uh, it's also magnetic so at night you just take your watch off place it on there and it magnetically attaches and you just leave it on overnight and take it off in the morning. On the back you can see we have the heart rate monitor and the little buttons there to press to remove the band so it's really easy to swap them in and out. On the left you have the speaker and microphone so you can take uh, calls on this and then on the right you have two buttons uh, one's to go back effectively or to the home screen and you can also scroll on it and then this one takes you to friends or to Apple Pay if you're in the US so putting it on takes a while to get used to uh, but once you do it's really simple to put on uh, it's good fit, comfortable, lightweight I've come from a stainless steel model uh, normal watch so this is much lighter um, Normally I didn't like classic buckles, so I wasn't too sure about this, but it's really comfortable. The band seems to be durable so far, and really soft as well. So the watch face itself, you have the watch there. If you scroll down, you get to notifications. Uh, scroll up, you get to glances. You have weather, calendar, battery, activity, heart rate, music and a quick toggles so you can ping your iPhone, uh, mute, do not disturb, aeroplane mode and on the watch face you can change what it looks like by force touching and then you get access to all these uh, watch faces. At the moment there's no third party watch faces but hopefully that will come in the future and really simple to customise so it's really nice if you want to change the colour or change what you see or how much detail you have you just scroll up and you can change it all there so I just like this simple one here uh, it's called Utility it's got some detail but simple uh, then you press the digital crown you go to your home page so in the centre you have the watch app uh, then around the side you have all your Apple apps that are stored on the watch itself and then around the side I've put all the third party watch apps now these are some of them are quick some of them are slow they have to load off your phone so some of them will be slower than others so Uber for example that has to load a map up um, so that takes a while just like the Apple Maps does as well but things like the workout app instantly shows up same with activity so you can see how many hours you've been standing you can see minutes of exercise calories burned and then you have all the information there this is a highly health orientated watch as well as sort of fashion. Uh, you do have access to phone calls, mail, messages, photos as well for some reason. So you can zoom in, you can scroll through them. Uh, that's my dog. I <laughs> uh, don't know how useful that is but you do have it. Maybe they'll have a watch face where you can have your own photos in the future. But so far I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, it's lightweight, battery lasts a day, 
I don't really need more than that because I just put my phone on charge anyway. And the fitness uh, side of it is really useful. I'm using it for running, cycling. Um, so I'll give you a full review uh, in the future. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see that. And give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.